So folders, quick video on folders. Here we have uh, some drum tracks, a bass track, three guitar tracks and a lead vocal track. So let's take our drum tracks. Um, I have a shortcut set which I can show you in another video and that's it. So that basically puts the drums into a drum folder. You undo that and this is the other way of doing it. So create a new track. I call it drums. Grab your drum tracks and then drag them and hover over this new track called drums and let go. <clears throat> so there's your four tracks now in a drums folder. Okay. Do the same thing here. Create a new track. Call it bass. Drag this up. Hover over. Let go. Bass track in a bass folder. Um, make a new folder called Guitars. Grab these three. So shift click, click, shift, hold down shift, click again. Drag up, let go. Guitars folder. And again, I'm going to create a vocal folder. Drag this track over the new folder. Right. So, uh, obvious question. Uh, I've put four tracks into a folder. I've put three guitar tracks into the guitar folder. Why have I put the bass, a single track, into a bass folder? And why have I put a single vocal track into a vocal folder? This is just um, because of something that I have in my workflow, which is a shortcut whereby I can hide all the children tracks and only show the folder tracks in the mixer. So I find that really useful uh, when you have a dense mix with lots and lots of tracks and you've put things into folders and you want to quickly go, right, where's all the drums? How can we... Heart on a Just want to mute the drums. So that's really, I find that really useful. And that's why I put single tracks into folders because I like to minimize my mixer basically to just folders every now and again. Uh, there's no other reason for doing it for me. That's, that's all. Okay, I'm going to come back with some more folder uh, information very shortly. <laughs> 